We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello. Hey. So, happy Monday. It's Vlogmas Day 7. I have been up at the usual early, early time. Uh, we had our new trainer take us today and it was highly intense. So I think that's going to support some of my health and fitness goals moving forward. You know, new starts and the, the psychology of newness. So um, yeah, it was good. I think I, um, I've got a, a flash of what my calorie burn was for this morning. So it's like 290 calories, so it's not gonna show you. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that for 40, 30 minutes. So that was good. So I'm just making my coffee, as you can see behind me. Um, I've got to go to the post office today. I thought I would go through my Louis Vuitton spend with you today because I did promise that yesterday. We actually had an unexpected um, latish night for a school night. Um, yesterday where we usually have drinks with our neighbours and it just so happened that everyone was around and so we all gathered uh, on the grass outside of our place and before we knew it, it was like 7.30. <laughs> we thought it was 4, so then uh, our neighbours invited us for dinner last night, which was beautiful. Um, so that made life easy for us, but they, they'd been cooking dinner all day in a slow cooker, so I suppose... Um, it wasn't too much extra effort, but yeah, slept so well last night with a belly full of beef ragu and pappardelle um, and a lovely Pinot Noir. So yeah, we're pretty spoiled. Um, so yeah, my coffee is almost done. So don't you just love these cups? I look, this whole ritual of making a cappuccino in the morning, I just, I love it. I love, love, love it. Just getting the right right amount of milk so that I don't um, I don't waste too much because all the cup sizes are different. I like my coffee poured right up to the lip. See that? I don't like the tide being out. Now, you might not be familiar with that terminology in other places, but especially in Northern Australia, uh, if your if your cup is not filled to the brim people will say the tide's out a bit, meaning that, you know, you can fill my cup up a bit more. Um, so there's another Aussie colloquialism that um, you probably might not have been aware of. In fact, if there are some things that you want to know about Aussie lingo, um, <laughs> Let me know. I, I can't say I'm an expert, but I think it would be a fun conversation to have. You know, what do we call certain things? Or um, if there was a guide to, you know, some typical Australian lingo. Yeah, something to think about. But um, it, it cracks me up. It cracks me up. Um, it makes me laugh uh, that our languages can be so, so different, even if you're from an English-speaking country as well. So I'm just gonna tidy this up and then we're gonna go and um, I'm gonna take you through my Louis Vuitton purchase history. It is certainly something, just talking to my phone, uh, fresh-faced, just coming back from the gym and putting it on the internet. <laughs> what has gotten into me, honestly? All right, so yesterday, um, some people have submitted uh, some guesses and I've got some comments on here that I can go through with you. So let's have a look here. The video only went live like two hours ago. So plenty of comments. Actually, why don't I read some of your comments out? Um, everyone loves the dogs. Thanks for the doggy love. The dogs love you right back. Um, Ada's Sully, uh, Ada's a good friend of mine here and um, her and I uh, have very similar mindsets on a number of things and 
um, she said, yeah, she only buys groceries for the day as she changes her mind so often, but Ada lives right on top of a supermarket. So it's uh, nice and easy. I'm only like five minutes away, but yeah, I, I don't like locking myself into things. Um, Ian and Hanny Baker, can't believe you make scrambled eggs the exact same way that I do using a spatula. So it's so effective, though mine are a little bit more cooked through. Thanks for another great vlogmas. Thank you. Fiona Hunter, Dale, I have my eggs just the same as you. Rubbery eggs, just why? I like some softness, which gives more flavor. The perfumes in the trunk look divine, but I'd be slightly concerned about any kind of leakage in such a beautiful trunk though. I guess that's a good point for your LV spend. Ah, it's 53K. It's so bizarre for a UK dweller to see you in full summer mode. We're pretty chilly here right now. So there's no other guesses, just the one guess. I mean, my vlogs have been pretty long, so I get that when you comment, it's hard to remember what I've asked you to comment on. The actual number. I'll just go to the number and then I'll tell you what I've bought. The actual number. Editing Dale here and um, there's been a lot more guesses throughout the day and I'm just about to start the upload of my video for tomorrow. So the winning entry is, depending on whether or not you think winning is the closest one that is not over, um, which is usually the case. So the winner, the winner, not that it was a competition, but the person who was closest to the amount was Wendy S. And Wendy S guessed $70,000. She said, maybe, but what fun. I love shopping too. And the closest but over was also a Wendy. Wendy Bache or Bachi or Bache. Uh, she says, mm, my guess for your LV spend is 73K. And you were both very, very close. The actual amount is, oh, it's horrifying. <laughs> and I took a screenshot. Didn't I take a screen? Oh, I did. Okay. The actual number is $72,230. <laughs> That's absurd. Oh, it's so absurd. Oh, I'm disgusted. All right. So here we go. I'll take you through this. The first items that I purchased, and I think I've told this story a few times. Um, I was recently divorced and I'd always wanted Louis Vuitton and I did not want Monogram. And I still have both of these. Um, I sent one off to the spa and I haven't had to spa one because I've hardly used it is the Joey wallet and the key patch. Um, so I think you can just kind of see those there. They were in the white epi leather. Um, loved them, used them. Well, I used the wallet a lot. Um, and then the bag doesn't come up, but my next, oh, it was a speedy 30. I thought it was a 35, but um, it's on my Instagram stories at the moment. I'll show you that to you. So it's a speedy, there we go, a speedy 30 um, and that key charm. So that was my first Louis Vuitton bag and uh, Melinda from Lux Purse Love tagged me to share <laughs> my first Louis Vuitton bag and I was like, oh, I've got to try and find a picture of it. Um, the next picture that I actually put up of my bag was before it got sparred. How revolting is that? If you're not following me on Instagram, head over there. I, I put a fair bit of content on Instagram as well. All right, so next on my bag journey, let's see, what have we got next? Ah, it was a little Demia Abin, um, well, kind of a checker print. Um, I don't know if you can just see, that's how it looks. It's quite 3D. I bought that for my husband for our first wedding anniversary. And the price of that was, in 2014, $525. My Speedy was $1,360 for a leather Speedy. These are Australian dollars, mind you. Um, so yeah, the prices were pretty good back then, <laughs> especially compared to now. 
Uh, my next purchase was in July 2015, just before I went to Europe, and that was my Keypole um, Bandolier 45, and it was $1,980. Um, I wonder what they are now, probably a lot more. Then I've got some diary refills, which I won't show you those because that's a bit boring. I bought my agenda cover, so that was $930 when I bought that in the GM size in the monogram. Some more diary refills. Um, I have talked about this one quite a bit on my channel. It was the Venus. Uh, it's kind of like a small tote. I bought that and I bought a bandeau and a scarf to try and there you go, and a scarf to try and dress this thing up because I was just like, oh, it's a bit too serious. That bag was $3,250. Um, and then the bandeau and the scarf were, you know, $205 and $445. So I bought a $3,000 bag that I had to buy two bandeaus to try and make it look like something that I wanted. And needless to say, I sold it pretty quickly um, thereafter. The next bag I bought, which I also no longer have in my collection, but I held on to it for quite a few years, was in 2017, um, which was the Twist MM um, in the Coquelicot in the red, and that was $4,600. Now, my husband had bought me the tote version of that, and you will find that in your purchase history. It'll say what was bought, what was returned. I've not added in all of the things that were returned because that would be beefing it up, and it would be wrong. And I took it back and swapped it for that bag. Um, then I got to, a, a, I know that this was on my birthday. Um, I bought this little bracelet, which I still have. That was $490. And I bought a zippy coin purse for $470. And a little key charm, which was $345 for that. Why did I buy that? That was $375, $345, sorry. And this little coin purse was in the same transaction, 470. Like that's just absurd. What was I thinking? Anyway, um, 2018 comes along and I purchased my Clapton, which you know that I still have, which is Damia Abin and Noir. That was $2,630 and that is an awesome bag for that money. Um, especially because as we get close to the Pochette Matisse, you'll see what I paid for that. And then whilst I was overseas, I purchased a scarf, you can see here, uh, and that was 595 euro. So I've kind of guesstimated that that makes it about 800 Australian dollars. Uh, I got back from overseas and complained to my Louis Vuitton essay that I could not find, I could not find um, a favourite bag and that I went everywhere, including Paris. And then in my local boutique, I found the favourite MM. Now, I didn't know and I don't think they knew that it was going to be discontinued. But that bag was $1,430. And I did buy a longer strap. So I did pay $310 for another Vachetta strap. But $1,430, and I'm pretty sure that they're selling now on the resale market, given that they're discontinued, for around the 1800 to 2000 mark. So, yeah, it was a really cheap, affordable, great bag. I love mine. I use it all the time. It's one of my best buys. The other thing I was looking for overseas quite a lot was this little summer trunk um purse and I found it in my local store. So I bought that and my Never Full World Tour in the same transaction. The coin purse was $605. So if you recall, the previous Zippy coin purse was $475. So that's quite a price difference for the Summer Trunk collection. And the World Tour was $2,400. And I think that's up around $3,000 now. So yeah, inflation peoples. Ah, this will be an interesting one given that we're in the Christmas animation season. My mini pochette accessories or accessoire, accessoire, <laughs> um, was from 2018 and you have seen it a bunch of times before. If you've watched my videos, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to, uh, why won't it let me zoom in? It won't let me zoom in. Okay, so it's the one with the cats. 
$450. What are they now? Like $750? Crazy. Um, <laughs> also the little V bracelet, Essential V bracelet um, in the silver I bought for $460. Uh, then I bought another Louis Vuitton bangle and um, cosmetic bag. I no longer have the cosmetic bag. I never used it. Um, so um, the bracelet was $905. I still have that. And the cosmetic pouch is $565. I then bought the necklace, um, which I haven't worn lately. Um, so the Essential V necklace, which was $540 in silver. My pochette Matisse, which I no longer have, was $2,540. So yeah, I had it for a couple of years. And I also bought a bandeau for that one too which was this really pretty pink bandeau and I actually have sold that now um, on my Depop account and that was $230. I bought another shawl in the greige and that was $730. Um, my six ring key holder was $400. My Christmas animation zippy um, round coin purse was $500. So you can see things starting to go up a bit then um, because this was only a year later and the mini pochette was $450 the year before and this one was, this little round coin purse was $500 the year afterwards. So that's saying something. Got some agenda refills. My petite boy chapeau. So my husband bought that for me. Um, that's on my account. So six six fifty. Uh, they are around seven two fifty now, I think. So they've gone up quite a bit. Um, the Sarah wallet I purchased for my mother. Um, that's nine hundred and thirty dollars in twenty twenty. Um, twenty twenty was a good year. Uh, the cans bag in the reverse monogram three thousand eight hundred dollars. I bought a new wave keychain for my multicolor Alma. That was $625. The keychains are absurdly expensive, aren't they? Uh, the Rose Devance um, fragrance, so $440 for a full size. Agenda refills. Um, passport cover, $575 uh, from the Christmas animation, which was the Ferris wheel that I picked up. Um, my Capucines BB, so we're getting close to today, um, was $8,100. And then my only piece from Virgil Abloh, um, the Great, the Great was uh, the pocket organizer in the mirror finish, which was, um, it's a coated canvas, um, $710. Then I had a refill of my perfume, then I bought your giveaway gift, which was three hundred dollars. Uh, the Stella Times perfume at eight hundred and eighty dollars, and the pencil case and diary refill. The pencil case was seven hundred and twenty-five dollars, I believe. And then finally, my trunk and trunk clutch at nine thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and five thousand three hundred dollars, respectively. That's everything. Wow. Maybe I should turn this into an Irish coffee. Okay. I am going to do a Louis Vuitton collection video in the new year and show you everything that I have in my collection currently and just give you a quick overview of whether or not it's worked out for me or not. Um, I have also got to figure out how I'm going to sell on my Chanel 19. Yes, that's what it's called. Um, I've also got to figure that out too. So today I've got to go to the post office and post a gift. I have got to get my nails done and we need to pack for a couple of days away on the coast and cross our fingers, toes and everything else that we are going to get some beautiful weather up there because I need some beach days. When hubby makes the bed, 
really anyone else's um, partner, husband, bed friend not make the bed, you know, in a way that you might make it yourself. Look who's here. Eddie Williams, come here. Give me. Oh. Say hello to the people. The people love you. Does anybody else like just touching their dog's paws and hands? You like, you don't mind me doing it either, do you? Like, oh, big stretch. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> oh, they're so snuggly. They like big teddy bears. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. We're going to make the bed now. We're going to make the bed and then open up some advent calendars because we're going to do our advent calendars for today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. How exciting! Okay, so I have made a bit of an effort with the hair today. It depends on what hair day it is and what I'm doing as to what I do with my hair. But I'm just kind of letting these waves fall through a little bit more. So while they do that, we're going to do advent calendars and we're going to be doing them for today right through to Thursday because we're not going to be here. And given that I will be packing for our little trip away, I thought there might be some goodies in the calendars that I can take with me. So that means for the peony parcel calendar, I've got to do six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's four. And I will do two from the Adore Beauty calendar. So we might do those first. Okay. So for the Adore Beauty calendar, we will be doing day... Maybe we're one behind on this. I can't add up. Hold on. So day one, and day two, day three, and day four, day... Day one, day two, day five, and day six, and day seven, and day eight. Okay, so we're doing day four for tomorrow and day five for Thursday. I'm getting confused too. Don't let me open another one until Saturday, right? What have we got in here? Oh yeah, this is why we're opening it. We've got ultraviolet sunscreen. This is awesome sunscreen, again, made in Australia. This is the Queen Screen Lightweight Skin Screen and it's an SPF 50 plus. So, um, perfect absolutely what i need we'll be taking that with us and then in day five they're all quality products what have we got in here <laughs> bonus so the k18 um this is the biomagnetic hair science so this is a hair leave-in hair repair mask in a travel size, um, I actually use this to kind of rebond my ends because I lightened my hair and I'm getting my hair done on Friday actually. But um, this is perfect for travel because I will need to do a, I will need to wash my hair probably tomorrow night. Um, and this will be really useful and it won't take up much room in my toiletry bag. So two absolute winners from the Adore Beauty calendar. I don't know what I've done with my peony parcel calendar. I think I'm a day ahead. <laughs> anyway, I'm opening the 7th, 8th and 9th today. So I'm not the one that waits until I get back and then opens. Um, and you know, you can see why, because, here's number seven, because these things are great for travel. So let's see what we've got in this one. Looks like it could be a bath bomb. It is. Alexandra John's Rose Indulgence Rose Infused Bath Bomb. Because it is, um, smells good. Oh, and it's spilling out everywhere. Okay. Um, but that, that's good. I will use that. Um, probably not on holiday, but when I get home. Okay, number eight. Oh, it's wrapped up good. Okay, here we go. I found an in. 
Oh, it's um wrapped in bubble wrap too. <gasps> Bella Pierre Cosmetics Brown Eyed Girl Eyeshadow Palette. There you go. There's a set of brown shadows. And brown works really well with green eyes. So that's another winner. And number nine. I'm going to take a guess that this is some kind of bath salts because it sounds like it. Yes. Nina Bailey Mint Detox Muscle Bath Soak Australia. Um, always love bath products. Um, I try and buy them from TK Maxx because they're usually so expensive and then, you know, they're just gone. So, um, yeah, this will be perfect. I might use this one on the weekend. So I decided to sit down and write some Christmas cards for family and friends. And um, these are Australian-themed Christmas cards, as you can see. You know, we've got some koalas, kangaroo and a wombat driving a truck of Christmas presents. And next up, a doggy Christmas card because why not? And then we have another one with a shagging wagon on the beach. I've just written some Christmas cards and I have put some washing on and I came out here to see that the taxi tree, the flower is out and magnolias are so fleeting. I've got to always come out and see it when it's in full flower before it disintegrates, which will be by the end of today, I guarantee you. So I thought I'd share that with you. Some of my roses. Okay, so we're doing a pack with me for the weekend away um, and I'm hoping that this sound is working because I've got you going through my airpods, hopefully that works. So weekend away, what am I even talking about? Well, it's effectively a weekend away because it's just a couple of days. So today I'm just wearing a all white ensemble because why not? I'm channeling summer vibes. Um, I've actually got the house all opened up today and the air conditioning off because it's cooled right off again, just in time for our beach holiday. So I've got no idea what's going on with this weather. Anyway, tomorrow I thought I might wear my, what I'm calling my clown dress, <laughs> um, my pinky polka dot dress, um, just because it's an easy travel dress and, you know, I don't want to wear white when we're getting in and out of the car just in case, because uh, we're taking the big car with us. So that means I'm gonna be packing a few bits and pieces. So I might just start with, I see this one as a day dress. So it's another white shirt dress. I picked this one up from Suzanne. It's pretty loose and flowy, um, but it's, you know, it's gonna be nice and cool. It's linen um, to wear, you know, either, Wednesday or Thursday coming home. So I'll pop that one in. Um, I've got another day dress here. This one is a Mr. Zimmy um, brown and white polka dot dress. I actually wore this last time we went to the Sunshine Coast and I think I vlogged that. It's a teeny tiny little, maybe a five minute vlog or something. Um, that's when I first tried it. So again, this one is linen as well and they, they travel pretty well as well. And, a little, a few little wrinkles in linen is not a big deal. Uh, I'm packing my Zimmerman um, Moonshine, I think, um, cotton dress for night time, and that's a puppy dog. So if we go out for dinner, we don't have any plans, but I'm sure we will. So that'll be great for an evening look. I've also got this little um, slip for that dress that's out of a Reese dress. Um, but it does need a slip that's in this kind of fabric. I did buy a nude slip that was more of a soft, um, like a t-shirty material, but the dress actually gets stuck on it, which is not 
Great, so you need something that it's going to slip off, so something that's kind of rayon. And then for Wednesday night or Tuesday night dinner, whichever one I don't wear, I've got my new witchery lilac dress as well. So that one, everyone's going to be like, is this really how you're folding your things? Yes, it is. I just fold them in there pretty lightly um, so that they won't get too creased just by sitting in there. And when I get there, I'll use the hairdryer to get the wrinkles out of my clothes because that's just how I roll. Um, also, I've got my Zimmerman beach bag that I bought, I think it was earlier this year. I don't think I've actually been able to use it yet. And inside, I've got this little visor that I got from Kmart because it just keeps the face, you know, nice and covered, which you need. Um, and I, I keep all my beach gear in my beach bag so I know that it's all together. Um, I've got this little cover up from Country Road a couple of seasons ago. So it's got like a little elastic waist and it sits quite short, but you, you'll see pictures anyway. But it's great to just throw on when you go to the beach and from the beach um, without, you know, everything being on show. I'm taking my new Zimmerman swimmers as well. Aren't they lovely? Um, so I'm looking forward to getting a little bit of colour. Looks like there's probably showers on the way. And Australians call these thongs. I know not everyone does, so maybe you call them a flip-flop. These are my Javianas, um, and I am a sucker for the Swarovski, which makes them about, you know, $40 a pair for a pair of rubber thongs. And I always, always break them through here. I don't know how that happens, and I keep buying them. I bought some alternatives that just weren't as pretty, and I really like this goldy color because it's like a really nice neutral. So they will go in the beach bag too. In terms of shoes, I'll just take a couple of pairs of slides and a chunky pair of sandals. So I've got my Tony Bianco black slides, they'll go in there. I've got my Hermes Aran sandals, they'll go in there. And then these are from Joe Mercer and they're like a lovely nude wedge, kind of, well not even a wedge really, like an espadrille cross yeah, platform sandal. So they look nice in the evenings as well. And they're easy to walk in. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the clothing section. I've got some underwear and that in the front. So that's my little bag. And then I'll show you what I'm packing in my toiletries. Alrighty, so the toiletries bag, I'll just show you. This is why I don't buy luxury cosmetics bags because these Henry Bendel um, toiletry bags are the bomb and look how fun they are. They pretty much hold everything I need them to. I don't keep my makeup in here though. So what? Edwina. So what I tend to do is in the bottom half I put shower type things. So in the bottom half I've got my Dauphine face wash. I love this. This is water lily and it smells divine. I have the Kerastar shampoo that I got in my Adore Beauty calendar. I have, where is the other hair product? Um, I've got the K18 that I unboxed earlier. So you just shampoo your hair, you towel dry it and then you add this as a treatment. So you don't need a conditioner. I've got a razor. Um, Deodorant, love this deodorant. Uh, what else do I have? I've got some um, hotel products just in case the Airbnb doesn't have a body cleanser and a body cream. These are by Green Alchemist, they smell amazing. Mandarin and rosemary leaf, um, so they're really nice. I've got a face oil, so for the double cleanse, and I got this one in the Adore Beauty calendar. No, I got this one in the Peony Parcel calendar. And 
I have got a facial sunscreen, which is the ultraviolet, which I also unboxed today out of the Adore Beauty calendar. So they're all in the bottom half of the bag. So things that can kind of, whoops, I suppose, or wet things or things that might leak. Um, I'll pop them all in the same one. In the top half, I've got toothpaste and my toothbrush. I've got a roll-on deodorant. Now, here's a little trick. You use a roll-on deodorant um, on the inside of your upper leg, not your bits, um, but just to stop when you are walking and it's hot um, so that you don't get any chafe on the inside of your leg. So there's a little tip. I don't know who I learned that from, but um, definitely a great tip. I'm going to take you through the skincare that I'm taking, but also just want to let you know in this top half here, I've got things like I've got some um, facial pads, I've got some earbuds, I've got like a um, shower cap that I've gotten from another hotel, a sewing kit, some alcohol wipes, a pair of tweezers, and a nail file. Yeah, and a couple of hair bands. So I kind of keep those in the top. And then with this bag, you can kind of just hang it. So I know that a lot of other companies do these sorts of bags. Um, you don't, you can't really get a Henry Bendel one anymore, but this is a great style, especially if you don't know what the bathroom's going to be like and you don't have much bench space, I find. All right, so I will take you through the skincare that I'm gonna take with me, which is my everyday skincare, basically. So you saw my face wash before, was for, from Dauphine. Then what I do is I mix this Niod Multi Molecular Hyaluronic Complex together with the Verso Hydration Serum, which is niacinamide. I mix one pump of this with a squirt of this and that's the first serum that I put on. Then I put on the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic in the morning. Then, uh, given that I think I'll probably need more hydration because I'll be spending more time outside, I will mix my moisturiser, which is the Dauphine Hydra Skin Light, along with some Dauphine Orange Blossom Face Oil. Um, and that's a really nice combination. Then I also have my Alpha H uh, Lip Protector. So this has SPF in it for your lips as well. I've got this skin the sunscreen um, already. And in terms of a fragrance, I'll just take my little sample Louis Vuitton Rose de Vence. Um, I do have some other samples in here as well. And I'll also take my Coco Mademoiselle Tiny Tiny Purse Pack. Um, so it's only got a tiny bit left in it. I also have these in the travel size as well, but this was a really um, cute, um, little package that a lovely friend of mine got for my birthday last year and it's a great size. And for makeup, I have got this little Dolce & Gabbana little makeup bag. Um, it's pretty cute. I like all the florals. Um, so I am going to take just the bare basics with me for makeup. So my favorite Hourglass Illusion Skin Tint, I have this in beige. This one is running pretty low. I do have another three packets of it because I bought it in bulk when it came back in. But I'm going to use this in combination with the Huda Beauty Glow Wish. Um, this is in number three. So I'm gonna combine those two um, just so that I can finish this one and get some life out of this one because I won't use this once I open up another one of these. So that'll be my kind of base cover. Then I have the Makeup Forever, which I got um, in my Adore Beauty um, Advent Calendar. This is a finishing powder, so I've got that tiny little size, so I'll pop that in. I've got my Kevin Acoin, um Mascara. I love this stuff, it's fantastic. And also the Hourglass Arch Gel in clear, just to keep the brows, you know, in place. For the lip, I'll take my Dior Lip Glow as always, but I am going to take this Model Co um, Lip Gloss. 
and also my Dior Addict. This is in must have 579. It's like a nice pinky kind of neutral pinky gold color. So I like to keep my makeup pretty neutral, um, normally anyway, but especially for the beach. Um, I will be taking my Hourglass Illuminate palette from last year and it has a bronzer, two blushes, two finishing powders and a highlighter in it. So it's everything in this one little compact, which is fantastic. My eyebrow, my eyeshadow palette will be the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes. Um, I'll only really be wearing eyeshadow in the evenings, so this gives me a lot of different looks. It gives me shimmers, mattes, transition shades, darks and light shades. So perfect for um, a one-stop shop. Then I have a bunch of different brushes that I'm going to take. It's just the minimum brushes. I'll take you through that quickly. I've got this big one for the finishing powder and I just kind of use it to blot powder on the spots where I get a bit shiny and around the edge of my face. Um, I have the Hourglass brush number two for doing my base. Then I have my blush brush. This came on a magazine cover. I know I've got a whole bunch of new brushes. I do need to get them out and learn how to use them and replace all of these. I've got a highlighter brush that I got from Mecca Cosmetica as a birthday present. I've got this fluffy brush that was again another promotional brush for my eyeshadow, a flat brush for my eyeshadow, and then a double-ended still a brush for my eyeshadow. This has fluffy end and a little flat end. And then, eek. And then I've got this little Kevin O'Coin eyebrow pencil in brunette. It is a wind-up pencil like that. And on the end, it has a brow spoolie as well, so I can keep my brows under control. So all of that fits nicely in this little makeup bag. And those two will go into my beach bag, not in my suitcase, in addition to my GHD. This is gonna be a long vlog. All oh, my vlogs are really long lately. Okay, it's feeding time at the zoo. I am going to make up the leftover pulled pork tortillas, I suppose you could call them, or wraps. Um, so I will show you what I do. We love leftovers for lunch and I don't need to share these because hubby's gone out for a lunch meeting, so lucky me. So inside here, I've got the tortillas, so I'm just gonna warm those in the microwave. I have some leftover smoked and pulled pork um, that I purchased in the grocery shop yesterday and we had for lunch. And I also have some leftover homemade slaw, um, which is cabbage, carrot, parsley, and then a um, dressing with a mix of apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, and some of this American ranch buttermilk yummy dressing stuff. Um, so I'm just going to combine all of these together and have some lunch. Now to try not to spill this down the front of a white shirt. So there we go. This is a teeny little tortilla and I fill it right up. My breakfast today. Yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my outfit of the day. Top last season by Country Road. Shorts, a bit too big actually for her witchery, but whatevs. They make me feel like Humpty Dumpty with these super high waisted. Um, my Emily in Paris bag and my Hermes slides. I am off to get my nails done and go to the post office and I think I might be picking something up. So um, yeah, stay tuned to the end of this vlog to see a little uh, unboxing. So I've just been to get my nails done. Woohoo, look at these. I um, I don't usually go this loud and bold on nails, but they're only on for this color, I should say. My nails are on forever. This color is only on for two weeks, so I thought, I'm gonna go for it. So 
they look amazing as per usual and uh, if you didn't already spot I just picked up my DHL parcel from Louis Vuitton these are the cruise earrings how awesome are they um, I will give you a closer look at them another day but I popped them straight in because I've been waiting for them for the um, for the Louis Vuitton cocktail party and um, they actually weren't in stock it was a mistake so I ordered them online and um, yeah they are very very cool I love them so I just got back from getting my nails done here they are wow crazy and I'm still just I love these earrings they are amazing once again they're called the cruise I wanted um, I wanted to get them like for the party season these were the gold earrings that I was going to pick up on Saturday but I couldn't because they weren't there anyway um, one thing I didn't show you before I sign off is the jewelry that I'm taking and I have this little again another Henry Bendel um, jewelry travel device and I'm gonna take show you a few bits that I'm going to take up the coast you know for a casual beach holiday Henry Bendel had some great travel pieces so this one has what is that in there still that got the price tag in it <laughs> um, so I always love pearls for the beach so this pearl and white gold bracelet I got on holiday in broom it's a broom pearl and it has a very high luster it's very beautiful so I'm gonna take that bracelet with me and you've got to keep those a lot separate to anything else that could scratch them because you know they're very delicate so I'll pop that in this little slip here here we go one-handed filming not ideal is it then I'll obviously be wearing my rings so I won't be using those ring holders for anything I've got a mixture of luxe and you know fashion jewelry I love these kinds of little fashion earrings for the beach they're just fun and light um, so I've got a pair of those I have a pair of pearl drop earrings um, they were um, I think I got those for free from Willie Creek where I bought my pearls they're just like some freshwater pearls but they look nice doubled up with a pearl stud as well um, what else have I got in here I have oh that's a safety pin I've got this Kate Spade bracelet that everyone mistakes for a Cartier love bracelet um, it's not it's rose gold and I like layering that and I think oh and I've got my little here's one anyway these tiny little rose gold and diamond huggies from Bye Baby um yeah and obviously the earrings I'm wearing so that's it for vlogmas day seven I will see you from the coast tomorrow bye we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry Christmas and a happy